Every car that came up beside us, I thought they were onto us. When that cop car overtook us, fucking hell. Let's take a look at what we've got. Mm. You got the right one then? Oh, yes. Good work, boys. <laughs> How about a beer? Oh, come mm. on. This is worth celebrating properly. I've got something rather special down in the cellar. <sighs> what a rush. Yeah, you say that now, but you were shitting it then. <laughs> so. When you meet your guy? Wednesday. Some sort of celery. Get that torch. Come on, give it here. Let's go. Just some old junk and some wine. What are you expecting? A few big cats that are stashed under the stairs. Some of that wine might be alright. Oi, we're going. Now. out what they were saying until that one guy nearly found me. That must have been terrifying. It meant I got to hear their voices properly. That's how I know it was him. Who said? Will you be coming to the funeral? I won't lie. 
I was hardly fond of Patrick. But if you want me there... So... Can you help me? If you're right about this other guy's identity... It's a reliable source. And I find out where they're hiding out. What do you want me to do? Persuade them to turn themselves in? Stitch them up in court? I wasn't particularly thinking of involving the courts. Katrina, I'm a lawyer, not a contract killer. Is that what you're recommending? Categorically not. Seriously, it would be a foolish move. Unless you're ready to pay out big bucks. Otherwise, you're dealing with amateurs. You either botch it or start getting gobby. I've often thought someone could make a good living from that line of work. If they took some basic precautions. Okay, shall we start? Okay, you've got till 20 past nine. work. Thanks. There are some very interesting ideas going on here. I'd like to give you an assignment for next week. There's a particular person I'd like to see you turn your talents to. Oh, right. Before we start, I'd like to get a couple of things clear. I'm an art dealer. I sell paintings largely by unknown artists who I think show particular promise. I know my late husband was involved in less legitimate areas. I hope you won't confuse me with him. Are we clear? Yeah, we're clear. Good. Now, I wonder if I could interest you in this particular piece. It's £20,000, and I think you'll find it proves a most worthwhile investment. Fine, it's perfect. Good. And is this for you, or would you like it delivered to somebody? Yeah, delivered, yeah. Right, so I could just take the details. Yeah, the guy's name is Vic. Vic Collins. The squealing bastard. The name and address are in here. If you come back next week, you can have your work appraised. So, so why do I need a photograph? I wouldn't want you to get the wrong person, would I? Anyway, that's just his face. I want to see a body. Quiet, quick, discreet. That's what I like about him. Guns are trouble. Too bulky. Too fucking noisy. You use a gun to make someone do something for you because they think you're going to kill them. But if you really want to kill them, it's got to be a knife. But you did use guns that last time, didn't you? Exactly. Case in point. That's why I had to spend the last four years hiding out in Ibiza. I can think of worse. Not my scene at all, mate. Good climate, though. If you like that sort of thing. I burn a bit too easy myself. And the winters. The only people around are the ones so peeled up they don't know where they're from in the first place. Should have popped a few disco biscuits yourself. No, mate, I'm not a user. I had to do a bit of dealing to get by, but I don't know. It's all a bit pile of mine and sell them cheap. I'm more of a craftsman. I like to spend my time over a job. Plan it carefully. Execute it. Lovingly. 
So you're still up for uh, killing people then? Oh yeah, that's why I come back. As soon as I had word the heat was off, I was straight down the airport. Good, because this is... This is contract. They don't know nothing about you. You get a name, you get an address. Could be a nonce. Could be a nun who takes suit to the homeless. They'll never know. You just top them. Sounds right up my street. Good man. Now listen. The boss runs an evening class. You go to the evening class and sign up as a student. That way, you're on her books. Uh, it's run by a bird. She's a strong, attractive woman who you'd be most unwise to mess with. What sort of evening class? <sighs> it doesn't matter. Just go along and be real shit at it. I mean, really fuck it up. That way, you'll identify yourself. What if it's something I'm good at? It's not a class in murdering. Anyhow, once she knows who you are, you'll be given some homework. That'll be your target. Do the job. Come back the next week, get paid. It's play acting, but it makes it near impossible for anyone to pin anything on you. No incriminating phone calls or conversations. Keeps it discreet. Ah! A little bit of discretion's got a lot to be said for it. You in? Yeah. You, uh... Want to take a piss? No, I'm fine. I've got to be going. You uh, might find some interesting reading material here when you get back. Go on, off you go. Throw your piss on the carpet. Another one? Yeah, why not? <sighs> no, hang on. <sighs> what? This is the point, isn't it? What point? The point where you either say sod it and have another one, or you maybe yes. find something else. No. Just, it's going to be my birthday next week. I'm going to be 30. My life is as good as over. Easy now. I just feel like everything's contracting, you know? I, I, I've lost contact with all my old friends and I don't seem to have made any new ones. I'm not interested in the things that I used to do and, and nothing seems to have taken their place. I used to stay out all night clubbing. Well, go clubbing. What's stopping you? I don't want to go clubbing. The music's too loud. And I like to be in bed by 12. But, I don't know, when I was younger, I just... I, I used to want to be a... Wanted to be what? An astronaut? A woman? An explorer. Ah. Or maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't want to be an explorer, but I just wanted to experience things, you know? G grab life by the throat. It's a phase. Yep. But I want that back. Th that's why I'm here, talking to you, getting your professional advice. Don't tell me it's a phase. So you're the fucking professional? Oh, I'm paying you to insult me. Look. Chill out, Daz. You've got to chill out. This, this, this life coaching is a delicate art. It's a fine balance of empowerment, encouragement, bullshit, and the occasional offensive remark. What should I do? Uh, well, 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 I think, I think, I think you should be spontaneous. Go on. Do something spontaneous. Maybe, no, maybe I should think about it. No, 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 no. You shouldn't think about it. You're missing the whole point. When an opportunity presents itself, don't think about it. Just go for it. 
Go on, go for it. Don't think, go on. Do, don't think, do. Ah! No, 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 no. That's not being spontaneous, that's just shouting. Uh, it, it's part of the learning process. But you're not taking into consideration your surroundings. We're in a pub. You have a sudden attack of cosmic angst. We've run out of beer. What do you do? Fancy another one? I'd love one, yes. And bring me a Scot to chase it. You see? Spontaneous. Six pounds, please. There we go. Thanks very much. Thanks. I, I, I was just wondering what time you... pressure, good flowing movement, just as if we were using a fountain pen. So, have a go and just ask if you've got any difficulties. Icing for the lettering be the same consistency as a mixture we use for the overall icing. Yes, now that is the beauty of royal icing. That as well as oh. its attractive oh. matte finish, it's also highly oh, versatile. Jesus. Oh my word. But it's isn't there a danger that it will harden before you finish decorating? Um, it is important to start writing as soon um, as you fill your piping bag. But true. if you develop the slow, be steady this. movement I was demonstrating, you shouldn't have a problem. But isn't that going to be a waste of ingredients? Oh, if your icing hardens before you've written your message and you have to throw it out. If you cover your bowl with cling film, that'll stop it hardening. <laughs> That's lovely. Look at that. What a mess. What do you think? Good work, everyone. I'll see you all next week. Hi. I wondered if you might have some homework for me. That's probably a good idea. Well, um, if you could practice your lettering over the week and maybe bring in a cake you've lettered, that could help. Don't worry if it doesn't come immediately. It's all about practice. And a name and address? Oh, you mean for equipment? Well, oh yes, I can give you a name. Right, you are. What was that you gave him? The name of a supplier. He's only been here one week. If you're giving out special information, I think you need to let us all in on it. Well, there was nothing special about it. What was it? I know, I have been coming here for a whole year now.
Is that Tony McDonald? Yeah? I'm just outside your shop. I was hoping to buy some uh, decorating materials. The cakes, you know. Well, I'm afraid I'm not supplying that sort of merchandise anymore. Just make an occasional cake. I mean, cakes for special occasions. I make them all the time. We worked off our feet here. Yeah? yeah, I'll have one of them then. Oh, right. Great. What kind of thing do you have in mind? Something with it, you know, icing. Yeah, we do that. Any particular lettering? Um, Who's it for? My nephew, it's his birthday. Right. So what's your nephew's name? Tommy. So we could put, happy birthday, Tommy? Something along those lines? Yeah. So how old is Tommy? 21, uh, four. So we could have uh, figure four then in the middle, or 21. We do all the numbers. I said he's four. So, do you think the straight sponge, or you prefer fruit or chocolate? The sponge is fine. When will it be ready? Well, it's going to take a few days. I mean, there's a lot of lettering going on. The icing can harden before you finish. Fine, just put Tommy on four. I'll pick it up Thursday. Where are you? Well, we're not really open to public callers. I'll deliver it to you. OK. Deliver it to flat B, 122 Stub Street. Four o'clock. Okay. Collins? Vic? Who wants to know? I believe we have an appointment. Darren Hutchinson? I've been sent to do you. If you'll pardon the expression. You found me then? Certainly did. Shall we get started then? Over there, all right? Over there? Whoops! No need to be nervous. I'm new to all this. I'm as scared as you are. Really? <laughs> oh yeah. Not been doing it long. To be honest, I'm not very good. The last one took hours to finish off. Terrible mess, I thought. Although, she seemed pleased enough. Jesus. Look, I can see why people might be upset with me. I've done a couple of things I shouldn't have. But I had to. I got leaned on. Well, that really is nothing to do with me. I'm not here to judge you. You seem like a decent sort of bloke. You don't have to do this. Yeah, I've thought about that. Is it really necessary? Right. And you know what? I think it is. I think it's something I've got to do. To get off my chest so I can move on. Right then, whenever you're ready, what? take your clothes off. What? Well, that's how I normally do it. Now, you're not cold, are you? I don't want you to be uncomfortable because this could take a while. Just get on with it. Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> no. We don't need those yet. Those are for later. <clears throat> now, I'm going to have to take some preliminary sketches first before we start on the main job, as it were. I hope you don't mind. I don't have a lot of choice, do I? Not really, no. that should give me something to go on. I wonder, could we try a different position? Yeah, 
How about this one? Yo, Daz, <laughs> again. Hey, 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 hey. Chill out, man. All this freaky talk of yours is gonna damage the delicate rhythms of the universe I've constructed around you. <laughs> okay, okay, so you feel you're in trouble. I think it's just a perfectly normal part of letting go of the structures within which you've imprisoned yourself. You need to relax. Not as if you killed someone. Oh, you yeah. have. Was it spontaneous? Yes, I think so. Well, it wasn't premeditated. God, you've got to help me. He's lying there, dead, on the floor, dead! I killed him. This is fantastic. You're breaking free of your bonds. You're embracing life for real by murdering people. Oh, don't worry about that. It happens all the time. Has it happened to you? Yes, of course. Has it? Well, yes. I mean, not actually happen, or I'd be doing 15 years in prison, wouldn't I? <laughs> I'm going to have to leave the country. That's the old Daz. The old Daz, he would panic. You'd do something rash, and he would lose. No, 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 no. The new Daz is going to be cool. <laughs> he is? Daz, listen to me. This one time, I'm going to be serious. Don't do anything. Don't go anywhere. Don't disappear. Your tutor knows that you went to the guy's house, right? Well, if you disappear, you're going to be letting the world know that you did it. No. Just... Do the normal thing, go to your evening class, and hand in your drawing. Oh, fuck! My drawing! I left it, I left it round there, what am I going to show my teacher? Just do another one. You can't draw anyway. No one's going to know the difference. Dad, i got to say ciao. But remember, this is not a crisis. It's an opportunity. There are some very interesting ideas going on here. Thanks. I'd like to give you an assignment for next week. 
there's a particular person I'd like to see you turn your talents to. Oh, right. OK, everyone, thanks a lot. If you want to get changed. Thanks for standing in at such short notice. No problem. Tell Chloe I hope she's feeling better soon. Sure. Yeah. Hi. Sorry, excuse me. I was wondering whether I could see some of the stuff that you've done. I was hoping to buy a picture as a present for my mum. Is anybody willing in selling me one of their pictures? You can look at mine. Thanks. You can't have it, though. Um, this, is, this is my first time, my first experience with a, this type of thing. So it's, uh, it's quite special to me. <clears throat> you have a really individual style. Do you think so? Well, you were great to draw. <laughs> Do you like the way I've shaded it to uh, uh, really bring out the curves? Hey, do you fancy a drink? I can't. A uh, babysitter. You've got a baby? Just a few months old. God, it's a pity I couldn't have drawn you before, you know, the birth. Really curvy. I must go. Fucking hell. And that was it. Just the one picture. So I think they're all a bit embarrassed. Well, they've been staring at your tits for the last two hours. Why get all shy now? So I'm not entirely sure what you expected to happen. You was in a situation where you could have learned something if you had an inclination. You couldn't get out of there fast enough. Yes, sir, but perhaps there wasn't anything to learn. Maybe we should check out some of the other classes. We've had a tip off that this is connected to the Adult Education College. And in each of the victims' houses, we found the same thing. A postcard, a painting of a naked woman. And you think we should be out there undercover flower arranging? And you think that me getting my kit off in front of a bunch of students is the best way to investigate this? DC Wyndham. We're wasting... <coughs> Lowry. Right? Go on. Is it the same one? Is it a nude? The body. I was talking about a painting. Right. Yeah, we'll get right down there. Great work. While you've been playing Lady Godiva, someone else has been topped. Come on, let's go. Just an ordinary pencil. Seems he fell back on it, sir. He was naked at the time. Looks like some kind of sexual horseplay that went horribly wrong. Let's have a look then. Fuck me. Vic the squealer. Slimy, creepy little man. But he made a valuable contribution to law enforcement. Well, if this is an accident, you're a lap dancer. You ever done any lap dancing, DC Wyndham? Anyway, sir, the pathologist What is... about the picture? Sir? The painting, the nude! Oh, yes, sir. Well, it seems to follow the pattern. Maybe I could take it to art gallery or some dealers and see if they recognise the painting. What I think you should do, DC Wyndham, is go back to the station and hand in your gun. And then write a report about how you spent last night wasting this investigation's time. And while you're at it, you can write a report for all the other officers down there so that they can get on with some useful police work. I don't know if you're interested, sir. We also found this. Oh. Something you want to contribute? No, sir. I, uh... Back to the office. Oh, fuck.
cake here for you. Come on up. Sorry, I need to borrow this for a moment. It's extremely important. You don't give up, do you? I said I didn't want to see you anymore. Yeah, with good reason. I was completely out of line. So you're not going to ask me out again? You know how I feel. But uh, who am I to say how long you need? They're still out there. I can't get together with you with those bastards still running free. These are beautiful. Thanks. What are you smirking for? What? A perk of my line of work. Certain uh, well-connected individuals who have me to thank for their liberty. Some information has come to light I think might interest you. You mean, have you? Both of them? As you can see, he's been going under a different name. And uh, your man there strolled through Gatwick six days ago. Not exactly keeping a low profile either. Very chatty. All the details are there. Give those to one of your budding Rembrandts. And we're through. Assuming, of course, he really is your guy. I just need to hear his voice. Call him now. Mr. Taylor, your number was given to me by a mutual acquaintance. I believe you're looking for work. No problem. It's him. It's all right, we got them. And I found just the man to draw a line under this. A new student, very talented, very inventive. Yeah? All right, Barry? Oh, Eric. Look, what it is, I meant to call you, yeah? Did you now? Yeah, look. So how's it going with the classes then? Uh, not well. Nice one. That's the idea. Oh, right, yeah. Boss says she's very happy with you. Really? That's what she told me. Says she likes your lateral approach. I suppose that's one way of putting it. Make sure you come to class tonight. She'll have a very special assignment for you. Eric, you wouldn't fuck with me, would you? This is straight up. Of course it's straight up. This is the big one, Barry. No fuck-ups. No fuck-ups. Shit. Oh, Barry. That is beautiful. I never thought you had it in you. That's an interesting effect on the edge. How did you get that? Uh, oh, well, uh, yeah, that was very difficult, was that bit. Uh -huh. What I done was... is... Mm. I thought about it really hard. Really, really hard. Laterally. Oh, yes. What kind of mix did you use to form the ornamentation and accoutrements? What? Was it a semi-solid 85% mix? What? Was it a semi-solid 85% mix? Uh, well, it'd have to be, wouldn't it? You know, I mean, you can't do your accoutrements without that, can you? <laughs> no. You cannot. I mean, look at the ripple effect on the lettering. Beautiful. Well, what I done was, uh, I became inspired. Uh, it all happened to me in a flash. One minute, I'm, I'm in a mire in. Mm -hmm. Next minute, I'm, I'm there, in the zone, decorating. Nothing, not even a fucking steamroller could have stopped me. Mm. Oh, wonderful. Well, well, you've done extremely well, Barry. Yeah, he said you'd be happy. I shouldn't be surprised if you win this term's prize for achievement. Oh, yes. A definite shoe-in. That is, unless you don't get thrown out on your ear. What? What's this about, Miss Bennett? I happen to be passing by Mr Taylor's flat today. I believe I have here evidence that this cake was not his own creation. What? <sighs>
You don't have to do this. Mr. Taylor, it's time to face the music. Come on, there's no need for the whole class to see this. You should have thought of that, shouldn't you? Come on, how much? Name your price, how much? Mr. Taylor, are you attempting to buy my silence? Let me tell you something. When I was a little girl, my mother taught me a very valuable old saying, which I've done my best to live by. Would you like to hear it? No. It goes like this. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. I suggest you commit it to memory. Where's my phone? I put it here a moment ago. Where is it? Mr. Taylor, have you seen it? Thank you. Now I think it's time we find out what you've been up to. I can't believe it. Pastry Pete. Barry the Knife Taylor. <laughs> so what's all this Tony McDonald business? That's my name, mate. I hardly call myself Pastry Pete as a cake decorator. People think I was taking a piss. Well, I knew it was a nickname, but I always assumed you were really called Pete. Alliteration, mate. Enjoying my cakes always have, but Pastry Tony just doesn't have quite the same ring to it. Can you come up with something that went with Tony then? I don't know. Tony the Tart. No, mate. All the same, though, Pete. Cakes. Kitty's cakes. Well, don't you like it? It's beautiful, Pete. The bit around the edge is particularly skillful. Well, Tommy should like it then. Who? Tommy. Oh, you're him. He loves all that. Good. Kiddies cakes. What happened, Pete? What happened? You know what happened. Maybe for some people it made some harder, but I went to pieces. Couldn't sleep. Always on edge. Fucking nightmare. This is cleared off. In a downward spiral. Drinking. Gambling. Foul fucking businesses. Sorry to hear that, Pete. Still, cake turned out all right, eh? Yeah. Let's hope he enjoys it. Who? Tommy. Oh, you're him. <laughs> he loves all that. Right. I'll be off then. Uh, no. Uh, don't go, Pete. Uh, stay for a cup of tea. No, that's all right, mate. Thanks all the same. Got fresh milk. No, I'm going. Let me go. I'm not going to kill you, Pete. Well, let me go then. Look, I'm a bit tied up in a minute. Can I call you back later? <sighs> Shit! <sighs> Barry, could we have a quiet word, please? You see, a cheat, a charlatan, and a slur on the good name of this class. Miss Taylor, I am capable of dealing with this. I'm sure you realise that this isn't the sort of behaviour we expect. No, miss. It is neither satisfactory or acceptable. Yes. You have spectacularly failed to carry out the task I set you, and this from a student who came to me actively seeking such tasks. Yes, miss. <sighs> you will go and do your homework again, independently, as instructed, and to my satisfaction. A word, please? So, how did it go this week? Who? What? Your appointment with Mr. Collins. Oh, Mr. Fine? Fine? He seemed a little jumpy. You've got something for me. A drawing? Oh, right. Uh, yes, right. Uh, there we go. 
This is very good work. You really capture the moment. You think so? Oh, yes. You finished him off nicely. I can sell this, you know. Really? Oh, yes, a talent like yours will always be in demand. I trust this is what you were expecting. Now, can we talk about a new commission? These gentlemen are expecting you tomorrow. The times are on here. It's important that you keep to them. Sure. No problem. Good. I look forward to seeing the results. <laughs> just helping out another class. Um, first aid, they were wrapping bandages and doing CPR. <laughs> you can't use a real person for CPR. Oh, uh, I must have mistaken. <laughs> um, good model this week? It was really hairy. I don't think hairs are my artistic forte. Mm. Listen, I was wondering whether you'd like to come for a drink. Yeah. <laughs> I've got some celebrating to do. <laughs> See, I never really bought that line about suffering for your art, mm. but without going into too much detail, I've kind of actually gone through quite a lot of heavy shit this week. I mean, you saw my drawing last week. You don't have to be nice about it. And maybe a man on the street wouldn't notice any change, but she does. She knows, she can see the pain in the drawing. She knows when it's been drawn by someone who's, who's experienced life a bit. Actually, she gave me a couple of assignments this week. Who are these assignments? She gave me some details. Here you are. Photographs? Well, yeah, she didn't want me to get the wrong person. And these people, they're expecting you. They're happy for you to do this. Yeah. Well, the one last week was a bit nervous. And how did that go? Yeah, fine. Do you want another drink? Yeah, great. Me? Sorry? Nice joint for the family. I've got steaks, chops, legs, shank, ribs, neck, shoulder, or, if you're partial to it, a nice bit of tongue. My boyfriend is getting me crisps. Thanks. Frisky? No, thank you. Oh, come on, love. This is top quality stuff. Have a look at that. Hygiene license. It's all certified organic, halal, kosher, and it's approved by the Vatigan. What? Are you a pig? <laughs> Can you get your bag off my stuff, please? You all right, mate? All right, mate. I was just trying to interest your delightful young lady friend here in a nice piece of meat. Especially seeing as how he's forgot the crisps. <laughs> yeah, we'll just stick to our drinks, thanks. Yeah, please yourself. So, you, you must get recognised quite a lot, being a model and all that. I'm not really a model. I was just helping out a friend. Oh. So, so, so what do you do? I work for a big, boring company. I'm in acquisitions. It's getting quite late. Do you need to go for your babysitter? No. No. The babysitter is um, staying over. She's uh, having an affair with my husband. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah, I don't like to spend so much time at home these days. Through the crowds and all that. I know. Why don't I get us a couple of shots? You can tell me all about your love life. Huh. Yeah. I 
and uh, can you stick a couple of vodkas in that, please? Okay, Mr. Artist. Celebrate. I met her in the wig and gown. We couldn't talk with the music so loud, but I could tell. Tell you something. I've not been entirely honest with you. No. You think I'm this, this great artist with trailblazing style? You are. You are. Really, I'm I'm something else. No. Double line. I'm an accountant. <laughs> God, I didn't see that coming. I thought you were going to say you were a contract killer. Or a trapeze artist or something like that. There's something I've always wanted to know about accountancy. That double entry bookkeeping. What's all that about? We sounded a bit dirty to me. No, double entry bookkeeping is the keystone, the, the hallmark of all good accountancy systems. Everything has to balance. Which is why a company balance sheet should always allow for, for the... Um, <laughs> right, so uh, I guess I'll see you around tonight or something if you're not you know. <laughs> you bad man. <laughs> what? I don't know. About six hours ago, I thought my life had completely turned to shit. Do you live near here? Yeah, if you want to call it. Don't suppose I could come back for breakfast, could I? <laughs> oh, sorry. Morning. Found you in the bathroom. Had to carry you to bed. Oh, I'm sorry. Wasn't quite what I had in mind. What time is it? Uh, 20 past nine. Oh, I'm late for work. Yeah. Well, I'm going to take the day off. Got to get these drawings done. That's today? The first one's at 10.30. Shame you've got to go. You could have come. Been a master at work. I could phone in sick. Something wrong? You all right? No feelings again.
Lose something? Found it in the bathroom with you. Only two types of people carry guns. Police and villains. And somehow, I don't think you're a police officer. What were you going to do? Shag me and shoot me? You wish. This is about that guy, isn't it? Vic. It was an accident. He tried to stab me. Take it easy, Dad. I can help you. We've got to tell me who you're working for. Work for? Who the fuck do you think I am? Christ! Do I honestly look like a killer to you? Hey, I don't have a clue how to use this. So, I mean, how hard can it be? Pull the trigger and point, right? Probably not in that order. But I really don't want to. Who do you want? I want. I think you should come with me. Then you'll see. It's all straight up. I'm just another artist. Turn left here. Is that you? Pete? It's Barry. It's about the cake. Tommy. Uh, Tommy, yeah, he loves them. Well, the thing is, it's not his party till this afternoon, but I've had a bit of an accident. I've gone and knocked it off the table and, well, some of the uh, accoutrements uh, have come off. I was hoping if... if I could quickly pop by your place and you could fix them. I'm happy to pay. Uh, no, he won't mind, but it's his mum. She won't like it. Uh, she'll think he's shoddy and second-rate. You don't want to get on the wrong side of her. Barry Taylor? I imagine you've been expecting me. Darren. This is my assistant. We brought the post up. Mate, I'm sorry. I know I fucked up, but... I'm on it, I'm on it. There's really no need. Listen, you know what this is about? Can we come in? So, how should we do this? I just want the chance to put things right after yesterday. You're not going to have a problem with her being here, are you? What with her being female and everything? Because, as I said, she is my assistant and I do have a very busy schedule. After you, I'm doing Tony McDonald. No, you have to let me do him. You want to do Tony? I'm going to do it properly this time. It was a bit of a shock after yesterday, because I weren't expecting it to be someone I know. Uh, but I'm ready. I'm psyched up. It's going to be classy. You going to the same lessons too? Of course I am, mate. We must go on different days. I suppose that we, we could do them together. If you think that'd be all right. Yeah, but couldn't I just do you first, like, while we're here? Nice one, mate. Come on, let's get going. It looks like we're doing Tony McDonald first. He's a cake maker, you see. Made this one for me yesterday. It's very nice. Why are you taking it back? What about Tommy? Tommy's just a... Uh... Why can't Tommy have his cake? Uh, Tommy's been very ill. I'm, I'm afraid you won't be needing any cake. Tommy didn't make it. Oh, it's awful. Don't get on that. Let's go. Hello, Tommy. Hello, Tommy. Yeah, wait a minute. Oh, sorry to be jumping, but a bit of a misunderstanding with the landlord. Let's have a look at this ice then. Oh, that's nothing serious. I don't know if it's fixed in a minute. You must be Tommy's parents then. 
Your boy all excited about his big day? I'm afraid Tommy's not going to have a birthday party anymore. No? No? He's gone to that great big birthday party in the sky. On a plane? He was very sick. Well, it can disagree with some people. Air travel? No, mate, very sick, like dead. Oh. Well, I don't give refunds. No, no, that's not why I'm here. I'm from the evening class. Oh, right, yeah. Rosemary said she'd give my number to someone. Rosemary? You know what, Pete? I'm from the fucking evening class, too. Eric. Katrina. I was hoping you might have your checkbook on you. Yeah, sure. But I've got an art class starting in five minutes. Brought me a picture? Of course. Lunchtime class, eh? <laughs> Lots of people to vouch for where you were today. I've no idea what you're talking about. That's great. You are? So, what do you reckon then? I think it's quite a good likeness myself. I'm sorry, who's this meant to be? Our mutual friend. Your budding talent. Looks nothing like him. No, I mean, this isn't the man you sent. Yes, it is. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. Well, what is it? This is Barry Taylor, one of the scum that killed my husband. No, I'm sorry, you've lost me. You hired one of the men I want dead to kill himself. <clears throat> Don't you mean to, uh... Paint himself. No, oh, fuck all that shit. I mean, fanning around with these art classes thinking I was so bloody clever. So Barry sent someone else in his place? I don't understand. We've been set up. Want me to call him? Find out what's going on? No, he's so stupid. Yeah, all right. Phone him. But keep it simple. Don't let on anything's wrong. Hi, mate. It's Eric. Eric, listen. Sorry about earlier. I'm sorting it out now. If you run me 20 seconds later... So, where are you right now? Listen, I'll have to call you back later. What did you do? It's live classes, not... That's the way I always work these days. Guns has got a bit too showy. Guns? Guns? What about a bit of charcoal? So we're cool, right? What's you? He... I... I didn't... I, I, I didn't... He... Darren, give me the gun. Oh, no, I'm hanging on to this. I mean, I did it, right? Nice clean job. OK, slightly late and advertised. She said I had to do it on my own. Darren, I'm a police detective. Give the gun to me. Shoot her, Darren! Darren! Shoot her! Or do you want me to? You stay away from her! She'll have us. Darren! This is nothing to do with me! You said Rosemary sent you! I don't know Rosemary! I, I said Miss Santos sent me! Katrina, in the second circumstances, it looks like I'm going to have to let her down! Going home? No. You bastard! Thanks for getting here so quickly. Cheers, you. I appreciate the risk you've taken. You know I can't use it myself. That's fine. I've buggered around all this time trying to get other people to do my dirty work for me when I should have had the guts to do it myself. So, you think they're both in there? Maybe they are, maybe it's a trap. I'll have to find out, won't I? Uh, 
Why don't you let me go in first? No one knows who I am. I could just be ordering a cake. Because for every course of action, there are plenty of good, sound, practical reasons not to take it. Rationality is the yoke that is weighing you down. Reason is your jailer. Logic is the tyrannical rule of terror that you have been living under. Cast out these old enemies and give yourself a chance. How was that? Fantastic. Splendid. What's next? Um, I'm going to take five and um, re-energize my chakras. Soon come. Yes! How goes it, man? What are you doing here? Hey. Murdered anybody else this week? Dad, 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 dad. Chill out, man. I know I said, I, and I came to you because I said something was, was missing. Uh, action, adventure, surprises. Well, I've had it, and I don't like it, and I want my old life back. I can't do that, Dad. I'm sorry. This is not a situation of my, oh, hostile. Six o'clock. Very angry. Don't even think it. Come on, Papa, move. Oh, well, there you go. Problem solved. <laughs> you can have your old life back now, eh? I'm sure the wacky world of accountancy will welcome you back with open arms. Kalamazoo. Oh. Spontaneous. Hello. I'd like to order a cake. And this is where the miserable sod was holed up. He's done some nice icing work here. Come on, let's see where this blood leads. I said, not so keen on guns, but with knives, uh -huh. I'm a bit of an expert. One cut in the right place, I could kill you instantly. One cut in a different place, and I could kill you very, very slowly. So, your choice. Did Katrina send you to kill me? No! So what did she want you to do? She sent me to draw you naked! Ah, you think you can get smart with me, you cunt! I don't know what this is about. This has nothing to do with either of us. Just let us go. We won't tell anyone. That's right. You won't tell anyone. And nor will your cut a girlfriend.
it means danger as well. It's at the very least ambiguous. You ruined everything. I killed you. You did that, mate, four years ago. That's the car. We'll give it five minutes. So he's definitely expecting us then. We're not going to get any resistance. That's right. Right. Just, you know, why don't he just give it to you? Why do we have to be tooled up like this? Yeah, well, our friend is in what you might call a modern marriage. He has a partnership with his wife. He tells her everything. Except he hasn't told her about his bad luck down at the card table. So he figures if we do it this way, he can save his marriage. You should do the talking, though. Met the lady in question a couple of times. I wouldn't want to recognise him, me. So why should Enshaw do him any favours? Didn't you nick his bird? The amount he says he can get for this painting, there's no favours about it. Right, let's do it. Let's roll. What a rush. Yeah, you say that now, you were shitting yourself at the time. <laughs> so, when you meet your guy? Wednesday. Trusses, you're being fucking robbed. We want the painting. Yeah, put the torch down. These guys are serious. What the fuck was that for? He was threatening me. Come on, grab the painting. Got a problem? You pussy, stuck-up wanker. Barry! Circle of life, mate. Why? No loose ends. No witnesses. But he knew it was me. I was looking out for you. Just being professional. Here, there's some sort of cellar here. Get that torch. Let's go. Come on, give it here. Just some old junk and some wine. Well, what were you expecting? A few big cash I stashed under the stairs? Some of that wine might be all right. Oi! We're going, now. All goes smoothly. We got the picture. No, Mr. Henshaw. I'm afraid it didn't go smoothly at all. Yeah, got a bit bloody. Barry here seemed to misunderstand the straightforward nature of the job. They were trying to fuck us over. They? What did you do to Katrina? Nothing. I'm not an idiot. She weren't there anyway. Well, you got what you went for. I think we've all done very well out of this. Oh, you fucking ruined everything! You destroyed my life! He's working for Katrina! She sent him to kill us! You stick that in me! You're blown into her hands! 
Yeah, we'll pay for our own Don't move. I'm a police officer and I'm arresting you both for attempted murder. <laughs> Darren, tie him up. Down the station. Soon to be ex detective. Wait, wait, wait. Just think for a moment. Do I need to do this? You can't kill them all. Just watch me. You don't have to kill them all. You've got them. They can't run anymore. You've waited this long. Wait a bit longer. I'm his lawyer, Katrina. I'll make sure he's no trouble. Lowry, Wyndham, where the fuck have you been? Bollocks, you have. They're on their way. You better go. I can tell you didn't mean to get caught up in any of this, but that business with the pencil isn't going to look good. It'd be better all round if you didn't figure in anybody's reports. Yeah. Maybe when this is all over, we could go for a drink. I don't think that's a very sensible idea. I thought you liked me. Yeah. That's when I thought you were somebody interesting. We just need a name, Barry. Look, you're going to have to do some time. But we know you didn't set this up. You tell us who is organising all the killings and we'll make sure you're up for parole soon. And I mean really soon. A nice, firm, and steady movement, just as if you were using... Rose me Pringle. Yes? I'm arresting you on suspicion of conspiracy to murder. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention, when questioned, something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be used in evidence. Of 12. 